Hello, everybody. It's another Thursday night at Now You're Cooking. We have some very special guests tonight who I will introduce in just a sec. Um, wanted to mention that next week we have the Maine Coast Fishermen's Association coming and they're going to do a yellow flounder a la Munier, which is going to be great. And then the following week, which I believe is July 1st, um, I'm going to be making our favorite um, strawberry shortcake with whole wheat biscuits. So that's going to be just in time for the 4th of July, which is the following Sunday. Um, so tonight we have some ladies here with us from Midcoast New Mainers Group, which is a great organization that we have all volunteer run. Um, and they help to settle um, asylum seekers and people from other countries that need help getting settled in their new homes especially in a small town like Bath or Brunswick. Um, it's, uh, the volunteers do lots of great things, like helping them find housing, coordinating health care, child care, language learning, um, help them get transportation when they need it, and lots of other great things. Um, and if you have any interest in donating time or money, they would love to hear from you. And the website's right here, mcnmg, midcoastnewmainersgroup.org. Um, so tonight we have Rachel and Jean um, from Burkina Faso, and also Odette, who's going to help translate, um, because my French is terrible, so Odette's here to help us out. Um, and I wanted to mention that Rachel has a recipe, which is one of the recipes we'll make tonight in um, last year's Bicentennial Cookbook. And it is wedding ginger juice from Burkina Faso. So we'll be looking forward to trying that yummy ginger. Um, but tonight they're going to be making the national food of Burkina Faso and Western Africa. And it's called Rigra o legum, right? Yes. And that means fat rice with um, vegetables. And so let's get started. So what's, what's the first thing you're going to do tonight? Mm -hmm. We're going to wash the meat. Okay. And you're washing the meat because in Africa you would want to wash the meat. Yes. So you'll notice that uh, some of the things that they're doing tonight um, is traditional because of where they came from and where this meal originated. Um, we don't always wash our meat here and mm -hmm. our vegetables, but um, we're going to do it the traditional method. Yes. So. And if you, if anybody has questions, um, feel free to write them in comments and we will try to keep an eye on it and answer as many questions as we can. Okay. Just a little bit of water. A little bit of water. And salt. And salt on yes. the mm -hmm. meat. Perfect. Do you, how often do you make this meal for your families? Combien de temps vous préparez ça pour votre famille? Oh, chaque semaine on le fait parce que c'est le plat préféré des enfants. Yeah, at least a week because at least it's once a yes, week. at least once yeah. a week because it's the preferred meat and meal and everybody likes it. Yeah. So. Good. Yeah. On va couvrir la pâte. Mhm. Mm We're going to cover it. Meanwhile, we will be washing the rice. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason we wash rice is usually to get the starch out of it. Yes, right? yes. One. Two cups. Mm -hmm. Three cups. For the three cups of rice, we will have four cups of water. When you're cooking it. Yes. Right. But now they're just, you're soaking it? Yes. Okay. She's going to wash the rice and soak it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you can, if 
either use the Brussels sprout or the, the cabbage. And we're going to use today the Brussels sprout, right? Yeah. Okay. Because that's more traditional in Africa. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's already washed, but we are going to cut and wash them again because you never know you can have some bugs inside. And you want to make sure you get rid of all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are gigantic Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are going to use part of it because this is too big and we don't want to we don't want it to take too much place the the eggplant. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, ma how many people is what we're making tonight? How many people would that feed? For si this is for six people. Six people. Okay. Yes. Good mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some people will peel the eggplant because they don't like the, the skin, but yeah. we're going to use it today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're going to use one carrot. She's peeling it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't take too much of time. It doesn't make doesn't take too much of money either. And it's most of the vegetable it takes is it's affordable and you don't need to put a lot of them in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the, the vegetables that you're using all have a lot of nice flavor. Exactly, yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to wash them and soak them in hot water. Okay, yeah. and are you using salt too or just the water? Or just the water, the yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the reason we're boiling the, the meat with the, the salt is to make it quicker for us. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when we don't have any more water in it, we'll add the, the oil in it and the rest of the spices. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. A third of cup. That's a half cup. Oh, it's half? That's a half or a third cup. Yeah. Sorry, it's a third. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. And we're going to use a third cup of oil in it. <coughs> okay. We're waiting for the water to finish. So does... I'm getting ahead of myself here, but does the rice and the vegetables all go in the same pot together? Not or at the same the time. Okay. Not at the same time. Got it. So the vegetable first, and then at some point she'll take them. She'll take them off and put them in th this little pot in there and keep them going there slowly okay. and then put the rice and the rest of the water in it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is yeah. cleaning and also softening the vegetables. Exactly, cleaning, softening it, and also getting rid of too much strong smell because sometimes it can be really, yeah. the As flavor can be too strong. Yeah, especially yes. the Brussels sprouts. Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so... What is the biggest challenge for you living in Maine 
instead of in Africa. You mean about um, dishes? No, just life. What is oh. what is hard? What is the hardest part about living in in this country or in Maine? Do you mm -hmm. like the snow? Do you yeah, like snow? You like, like snow, winter? But you don't like a cold. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't have one without the other, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, that is very challenging also to drive in the snow because yeah. it's completely different for us. We yeah. don't have the snow, and it's we don't usually drive in like even very heavy rain because it's the roads are not meant for it. Yeah. So here driving in the snow is like I don't know. Well we're we're not very good at it either. Yeah. A lot of us are not very good at it. But I think so. we, we're better than Texans, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yes. Yeah. The tires are are adapted and that helps a lot. Yeah. 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 And what do you miss most about your home country? Yeah, they miss the family, the parents back yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, we've been making friends here, and like the saying is going, parents sometimes can be friends. Yeah. And friends sometimes can be parents. Can you? Yeah. Yes. And family. we learn to have friends that have become parents. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And. So one thing that we always notice when we cook meats here, uh, we think it's quicker here to them to get them cooked than in Africa. It takes longer in Africa, and that's what she's saying. If huh. that was in Africa. Instead of like the five ten minutes, we we'll, we'll might have to wait for like maybe thirty oh, minutes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. At least. Because your stoves don't get hot now. Or no, what? because or the, the meat, meat is, is. I think the the animals are older yeah. okay. before the years. So it's a different quality. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. A third of cup for the oil in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in Africa, this special dish is supposed to be really very fat. Hence, like, hence it, the name. Exactly, has yeah. the name. But because some people don't like it, and it's not really a requirement, so she didn't really add that much of oil like should be. Okay. Yeah. How much would you add if you were cooking for your family? Would you add two? Mm -hmm. No, how much oil? Yeah, yeah. 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 That was this is her normal oh, cooking. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are six in their family too. Okay. Yeah. So this is like her normal cooking at home. Gotcha. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's she's waiting for the for the meat to really turn reddish and be ready because that's the way to I don't know if you notice the the difference of the color from the beginning to now it's completely different and it's turning brown yeah yeah and it's supposed to be like that Mm -hmm. Okay, so mostly when people cook this, she's cooking like the natural color of the rice, which is white. But sometimes you can, people would like to be like different color, and you can use like a tomato, a pass of tomato, mm -hmm. the salsa pass, and that will be really red. The rice will be really red, or you can even yes. Use it if you want to cut it. Yeah. And it will be yellowish mm -hmm. if you use the curry. Mm -hmm. And if you want green, you use more parsley than she will use right now. Okay. Yes.
Is that all parsley in there? Yes. And garlic. Oh, yeah. yeah. We like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. A tablespoon of it. So this is garlic and parsley together. Okay. Yeah. One cup of water. The second. The third. And one more than the rice. Yeah. The fourth. That smells so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that extra one is for the, the vegetable. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's using, for spices, she's using bay leaves. And you can use, it, use either of one. Two. She's using two instead of one because, yeah. Because for six people, so that's why. If it's you cooking for less than six, let's say for example between one and two, mm -hmm. so you might use just one leaf. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to taste this. It smells so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the bouillon you don't really need to unless you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is her secret Indian for that ingredient okay. for that. So it's like the little plus, the extra plus. Okay, and yeah. it's a secret, so we won't tell anybody. <laughs> no, we didn't even see that. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. One spoon, tablespoon of Tea. salt. Mm -hmm. Teaspoon. Teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt and um, half of it and a quarter <laughs> yes and a quarter <laughs> so one and three quarters teaspoons. yes mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so in africa most of the time we don't use measurements we just look at it and we know yeah yes <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't always use measurements either, but it's not always as good. It's yes. not always safe to do exactly. That way. <laughs> now she finished all the spices. She's going to put the vegetables in it. Jean, do you like to cook too? Or does Rachel yeah, do most of the I cooking? Love cook, you love yeah. to cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the vegetables are now really required for the dish. She's doing it because she likes it and also because it's changed the smell and the taste of it. But her kids don't usually eat the vegetables. So some, sometimes she will cook without the, veg the vegetables and that is also fine. And it's, so it's just the rice with, uh, and the meat. And uh, Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then you don't need to add the extra cup of water. Got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, we like to encourage people to eat lots of vegetables. Yeah. Yes. Because it's good for them. Mm -hmm. Especially for the children out there. Yes. So now how long will this cook? Fifty-five minutes. Fifty-five minutes mm -hmm. before you put the rice in. Um, the, 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 oh, okay. The fifty-five minutes is from the beginning when we put the meat in okay. till the end of the dish. Okay. Yeah. Mais ah. elle demande comment quand comme les légumes là vont cuire pour combien de temps? Five minutes. I even understood that. Oh. Five minutes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The reason we're going to take them out in five minutes is because we are going to let them keep cooking slowly so they can be tender and get ready to be eaten later on when we finish the rest of the dish. And at the same time, we don't want everything to get in, in here. We don't want all the flavor to get in the rice. Right. We want to be able to taste the flavor of the rice and taste the vegetable at the same time in the same dish. Okay. If you let them cook longer, you might have too much smell of the, too much flavor of the vegetable, so you won't be able to taste your rice. Yeah. yeah. So you will be taking the vegetables and the meat out, or just the vegetables? Vegetable. Yes, yeah. just the vegetables. Okay. Yeah. It really, I wish we had smell a vision because it really smells fantastic with the meat, the browned meat and the parsley and the garlic and now with all the vegetables in it, it's, it smells divine. <laughs> and because our son did it. Do you, do you want to make, do the juice while we're waiting or? So we made the juice already, and we just wanted to introduce the juice. Okay. Why do we have the juice with this? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Mhm. Pendant que ça cuit, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? Je vais sortir le riz dans l'eau. Okay. We're going to take. Okay. One more minute, and then we'll take the vegetable. Stir, yeah. Okay, okay. So she's going to stir the water out of the rice. Do your do your children like to be in Maine? Are they? It must have been hard last year at school for them. It was hard for main kids yeah, to be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the kids are just better and quicker than the rest of us, than the adults. Don't you think so? Les enfants se sont adaptés mieux aux main kids. Yeah, c'était rapide. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they overcome the barriers easier than we do. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. And they don't have, the. R I think the reason they don't have a lot of memories like we do to lose, so they kind of like, yeah. it's easier for them to kind of dump yeah. the memories and yeah. get new ones quickly, quickly and enjoy it. And they don't have anything to compare it to because no. it's all so new to them. Yes. Okay, we're well, going to take them. <laughs> Only the vegetables without the meat.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, see. Okay. Tu peux augmenter le feu, ça va au bois. En mélangeant, vous allez voir que le riz est en train de changer un peu. C'est comme si ça devenait sec encore. So, the reason she's she keeps turning the rice inside is to get the rice starting turning color it's going to be wider and then it's going to start to get to be cooking slowly and then she will stop turning okay yes and the other reason she's now covering this over there the vegetables is because she want them to keep the same color and all the flavors in it so she doesn't cover them mm-hmm okay. okay. so she thinks we have too much water in it Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And uh, she's going to put on the low. Then we're going to cover. And wait for it to cook. Yes. So how much longer does the rice cook? 15, 10, 15? 15. 15 minutes. Yes. minutes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Between 15 and 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you're cooking and at some point you feel like you have too much water because your vegetable didn't take that much water than you thought, you can always get some water and put it inside, beside and wait okay. and see how it goes. If you feel at some point you need some water, you just put it back. Okay. If you don't need it, you can always use that in your vegetables and eat with it. Because it's, ba- it's a nice thick sauce. Exactly, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. And for the measurement of the water, you really want to make sure you have the right measurement of water. Because if you, if you miss that part, you might not be able to get your rice to come up the way you want it to. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to plate up the stuff that you brought? So because mm-hmm. this is taking um, another 15, 20 minutes, so you don't have to watch water boil, mm-hmm. um, we are going to plate up some, um, Jean and uh, Rachel made some earlier. So we'll see how it's served and with the ginger juice and mm-hmm. it'll be lovely. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So
So this dish usually they will make it in Africa for any celebration, for the celebration of birth, for the celebration of for weddings, for any kind of family reunions. Like any time, any opportunity they have to celebrate, they will celebrate in Africa, and this is the dish usually they will have. Nice. And the reason we have the, the, the two juices with is usually what we will use with them in Africa because that's like the normal. And this is cooked in Burkina Faso, Senegal, all over Mali, Benin, Ivory Coast, Gambia, Sierra Leone, all over in West Africa. And where's Burkina Faso, I think. This is the West African dish. It looks delicious. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? The magic of television. The magic of television. <laughs> it's cooking here and being served here all yes. at the same time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because this is a fat dish, so that's usually why we will have the lemon for people who really don't like too much of fat. We don't want to really feel the fat in their mouth, so you add a little bit of lemon in it. And this is the ginger juice? This is the ginger juice. Oh, ginger? Yes. I'm going to taste it. Homemade this. and all organic. I like to taste things. You can. Wow, that is really good. It's really gingery. Yes. Very peppery, the, mm -hmm. the bitey from the ginger. Mm -hmm. um, but it's much... So there's water and sugar in there, right? Yes. Yeah, it's it's really delicious. I can imagine on a hot day that this would be very, very refreshing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking more. Okay. And this is the, the hibiscus flower juice. Oh, and then you mix them. Yes, you mix them. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is really good. How do you make the hibiscus juice? Comment tu fais le jus de bisap? Mm -hmm. You boil in the water. The hibiscus flowers? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you get these at a market? Yes, mm -hmm. the yes. natural market. The natural market. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you boil them? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, for one cup of the flour, you might have six cups of water. Mm -hmm. And you, you wash one time, the first time, and then you boil them in the six cup of water. And then you stir them, you stir the water, and then... The reason you will ha add a little bit of bacon, baking soda is because it can be very sour. Okay. Yes. <coughs> okay. And then is there sugar in this or is it just the natural sweetness? You can do both. If you want it to be a little bit sweet, you add a little bit of sugar. If you don't add the sugar, it won't be sweet. Okay. Yeah, but it's so still good. Has sugar. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. Oh, okay. I yeah. can taste the vanilla. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mint. And mint. Yes. This is really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much, You're Jean, welcome. Odette, and Rachel. Yes. Um, this has been really fun, and I can't wait to try it. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, just a reminder that the Midcoast New Mainers group would love to have you get involved. 
Um, they give people rides. They um, help them find housing. They do multicultural events. Um, English, just somebody to talk to in English, anything like that would be helpful. Mm -hmm. And of course, money. All the, uh, the nonprofits always need money mm -hmm. to help get their good work done. Um, Again, next week we have the Maine Coast Fishermen's Association making a sole a la Munier, and then the week after I'm going to be making strawberry shortcake with a whole wheat uh, biscuit, and that's going to be really awesome. Thank you, ladies, so much. You are very welcome. Merci beaucoup. It was, it was very fun to have you here, and we'll see you all next week. See you.